So welcome back guys to Auto Trend TV. This video is all about the interiors and overall comfort of the XUV 300. So this is me your Viprajesh speaking again. And uh, of course this is the XUV 300. As you can see, you got all other XUV 300s lined up over there. That is the aqua marine color. And I am inside the white one right now. And this is the W8 optional top end of the range, of course. Uh, so I have already covered a lot of details on my previous XUV300 uh, first review. So I'm just going into the more detailed parts today. So to begin with, the overall quality inside here has been great. The interior quality is always really good and in certain parts it's even better than uh, say the Ford EcoSport or the Tata Nexon. Uh, the main concern with me over here is that the design it appears at least a generation behind when you compare it with the current uh, crop of SUVs, compact SUVs. You see the steering wheel design is okay, it is really good, it's modern, it's, it's thick and it's leather wrapped as you can see. But uh, when you come to the center console, you can see that it, this area is inspired by supposedly it looks like a Nokia, old Nokia phone with these orange buttons and uh, a dual tone monochrome, dis uh, sorry, a monochrome display over here, LCD display. It looks like an old Nokia 1100 type of phones. But the functionality is good. The functionality is good. I cannot fault on that. The functionality is good. Uh, like these are, this is the section for the climate control. And you, you can see there are a whole lot of uh, functions over here. You get a dual zone climate control with a memory function, with individual uh, temperature controls as well for both the sides. And uh, over here you have the same uh, uh, really dated looking buttons, but they are also really functional. Like this here is for the uh, driver instrument cluster over there uh, whereas this button over here is for the multiple steering modes they call it the smart steering system the like the modes can be changed from CT to comfort to sport so it uh, what it does is it basically changes the steering feel the weight and feel of the steering wheel according to the driving condition you require so that is present over here and whereas I have covered most of the details in the touchscreen system on my previous video you can kindly watch that if you want but overall this touchscreen system in one word is really good it's it's crisp it's slick it's good enough uh, but the thing is when you consider overall ambience of the uh, XUV 300 the quality levels are really good but where it seriously lacks is the uh, design, overall interior design. It is, it's already starting to feel old. When you compare it with the modern crop of touchscreen, uh, touch display for uh, AC, and uh, like you, you get those uh, stand-up screens on Echo Sport and Nexon. When you compare it with those, you feel like you are sitting in a car, which is at least a generation behind uh, the current crop of cars. Whereas you get a whole lot of features though. You get a whole lot of features. Uh, like you get uh, leather seats to begin with. The quality is, the quality is really good. It's it's firm, it's, it's really good. The support is really good. You got thick uh, side bolstering. The front seats are seriously really good. The quality is really good. And the driver's seat has got a whole lot of range of adjustment. Uh, for height as well as recline and slide as well. Well, you get these cruise control functions on the steering wheel. You get uh, seven airbags, which is the segment first. You get seven airbags, so that is a really good point. The XUV really scores very very high when it comes to equipment and safety, and even when it comes to build quality, it's really good. So as you can see, that is a satisfying thud. It is really well built. It's got auto dim, auto dimming function for the interior rear view mirror. As you can see, there is this button over here. So 
and it's got a sunroof as well which is kind of a fancy feature nowadays like everybody almost everybody wants it and uh, even for some people a sunroof is a decision making feature in every car uh, i don't know why especially in indian conditions but there is it you want a sunroof you get it there yeah okay you are satisfied so oh, and uh, next on well you got really good cubby spaces you got this big armrest you got cup holders you got glove box which is of a decent size you got dual bottle holders on the doors over here you get an electronically adjustable foldable and adjustable outer view outer rear view mirrors as you get really good quality interior buttons as well every button and everything inside here feels really good to press good in quality so overall quality is really good but where the xuv 300 is lacking is design it feels a bit older so next on i'll just hop on into the rear seat of the xuv 3w in terms of practicality the xuv 3w scores really well inside the cabin you would have already seen the glove box you would have already seen the center armrest cubby and those cup holders in the center console and the big bottle holders on the door pads and additionally there are these uh, big uh, bottle holders like they can even hold a big 2 liter bottle on the rear door pads as well and there are also additional cup holders on the center armrest over here but uh, the biggest grouse is that the boot space is really low as you can see so this is the boot space of the xcv 3w like at the max you can extend the boot floor even lower but at the max the claimed boot space of the xcv 3w is just around 257 liters for uh, a compact suv it is too low for a compact suv it is too small and it i personally think that it is even lower than uh, something called something like a beleno or something yeah which is a small which is a premium hatchback of course and even smaller than the renault quid or the new wagoner as well so i think that it should have been at least 320 to 300 liters but it is a big miss over here apparently the truncated section of the rear has uh, has taken its price so that's what i feel and uh, next up i'm going to drive the xuv 3w diesel you would have already seen the petrol review so i am going to drive the diesel one now so follow up on stay tuned thanks for watching this video please subscribe for more videos if you like this video click the like buttons and give your comments